Hey, right, what's going on, guys? So, uh, made it to Milwaukee in the hotel room now. I'm actually about to go out and head to the uh, Milwaukee Bucks training facility and get this show on the road. So basically, uh, if I didn't make it clear the first time, this is basically just an invite workout with the Milwaukee Bucks G League team. Um, real good opportunity. Uh, got it brought here from my agent and my agent basically told me like, you know, they're not really looking for guards, but you know, they're gonna provide the opportunity and if they like something, you know, you never know, basically. So, that's how I'm taking it. Just glad to just get the opportunity, honestly. Kind of just gotta go out there and, and just remember what you started it for, what you did it for. I mean, I know when you come a professional, sometimes it can be hard to like, just remember why you play basketball. You know what I mean? It's so much pressure, so many critics. So many people putting this pressure on you to do well. You kind of just forget that it all started because you love the game. You know what I mean? It started because basketball was something that you really enjoyed playing, you really enjoyed doing. And so that's something I'm trying to bring back to myself. I'm trying to just enjoy playing basketball. Like today, I'm just like, yo, I just love the game. You know, screw what he or she thinks. I just enjoy getting better. This is an opportunity to get better. This is an opportunity to work on the things that I've been working on in the gym. This is a, these are opportunities to just progress from a mental perspective. And that's what, how I'm trying to think of it at this point, rather than being like, oh, I hope I impress them. I'm trying to, you know what I mean? I can't control what these men think, but I can control how I think and, and, and how I look at the game. And so I'm just gonna try to have fun today. You know what I mean? As much as I can, I'll just enjoy myself, not put too much pressure on myself and just, just let it flow. You know, if some shots gonna go in, some shots gonna miss, but you know, um, that's part of the game. You just gotta keep playing, keep doing what I do. So, I'll keep you guys updated, man. This has been a long journey, y'all know that. You see, man, you see the beer coming in too. I don't know if y'all saw that the first time, but man, it, it's a long journey and you know, we still on it. We still on this marathon, man. So, um, I'll keep you guys updated. I'll be back for a recap at the end of this and we'll go from there. people I'm back just doing a follow-up with the uh, Milwaukee herd G League invite camp so just want to give you guys a quick recap on that just give you guys my experience on it and for those who may end up going to an invite tryout for any reason you guys have a little bit of insight on that process so to begin with man such a different process than an open tryout and guys you think that I'm being hard on open trials but when I go to stuff like this when I'm able to actually be put in a position where I'm in front of the GM I'm in front of the coaches I'm in front of 10 to 12 coaching staff members that's actually watching me shoot putting me through workouts giving me advice I mean it's such a completely different 
feeling and a completely different investment these people put in you because you are now in a different light because you are in a different scenario. When you're an open tryout, they know that you paid to come there. So they don't care for your results. They don't care for you. They don't care at all because it's like everybody's a bum in their eyes unless they actually know you. They don't care what overseas team you play for. They don't care how much you average overseas. They don't care how much you average in the TBL. They don't care at an open tryout. All they know is if nobody is vouching for you and they don't have the benefit of the doubt for you, you are a bum trying to get on, all right? When you go to these invite tryouts, they know that you had to have somebody vouch for you or they, you actually have to have some game to be there. Um, great situation as I said before uh, we went through about an hour an hour literal literal hour of straight shooting straight shooting drills going through different movements going off a of pick and roll going off of different actions of shooting it was amazing man and then after that we went straight into play and we played about two three games it's about seven eight players on the team you got real good tick everybody got to really play it wasn't a bad situation, man. Now, I wanna start giving guys who may be going through this opportunity. A lot of guys may not even have this chance, but for the guys who have this opportunity, I wanna give you a few pointers in order for you to be successful as you can in this type of situation. So first thing I always say, conditioning, make sure you're in good shape. Make sure they have no excuse to say he, he's winded. Etc. Etc. Because now, when you are in an invite, you're playing with a lot of great players. Like there ain't no dude that you can just destroy. You ain't a man amongst boys like an open tryout. Now you playing against all pros. You playing against all top level players, guys who play top league overseas, etc. So you cannot afford to be fatigued. Not to mention the the more wind you have, the bigger advantage you have in the long run because everybody initially is going to be good. But the person who has the most win and can, and who can shine in the fourth quarter, those are gonna be the guys who stand out the most. So having that win is so important. Second, be aggressive, man. You gotta be aggressive on the offensive end. You gotta be aggressive. You gotta be talkative. You gotta speak. When you get a shot, when you get an opportunity, you gotta take it. Please do not pass up shots. That shows you being passive or you not having confidence in yourself, shoot it, man. You gotta shoot it every time you have a chance, man. You have to take full advantage of these opportunities. Do not be afraid to fail. Do not be afraid to, to, to screw up, all right? It's not that big of a deal. I would rather go in the opportunity, screw all the way up, look like shit, then go there and leave and say, I ain't doing enough. I would rather overdo it than underdo it. That's how I always go into any situation. Make sure you are networking. Now, this is an undervalued point that I feel should probably be a priority. When you go into these situations, these coaches don't know you like that. For them, they it was about 40, 50 people there, or maybe it was 30, 40. It wasn't a lot of people, it's probably 30, I think. And when you are in these situations, it is important that you stand out as much as you can. So the best thing to do, basketball is, is business. Basketball is a business. So what the way you would treat business, say you were an entrepreneur, is the way you need to treat your basketball career. Because in reality, you are an entrepreneur if you're gonna be a professional basketball player. You're selling yourself to different, or you're selling your services to different organizations in order for them to pay you right that's an entrepreneur so when you're going and you're talking go talk to these coaches be like hey coach uh ask a question hey coach yeah my name cam man so so how you do this man like I, I, i'm always I man I always got a palm ask them a real question that you're probably dealing with man when i come off a of pick and roll sometime i'll be confused on this get advice from an nba coach and, and they would appreciate that and they'd be like yeah man and they'll give you the insight on it and just speak to them and they're, they're good dudes man they will literally help you out that's what they're there for man these guys are coaches because they want to help the next generation so you ask them that stuff and what it does for one you stand out because now you have a rapport with one of the coaches and so then every time you see them they y'all look at each other like, oh what's up man you blah 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 y'all can have a talk and you know 
then from that point on, even if things don't work out, what you have to do, one thing my dude always tells me, follow up. Be like, hey coach, uh, you got any type of social network or something like that, man, I love to follow up with you, you know, keep you updated on stuff. If he says no or he don't want to, by all means, that's fine, but it's better than not asking, man. The more no's you can hear in life, the, the bigger success you will achieve, bro. That's real shit. And not to mention, if you are in the basketball world, you're gonna hear no's all the time anyway. You really will hear no's 90% of the time. So that, that, that feeling of like anxiety or that feeling of nervous, like, oh, I'm shy, I don't wanna go up and say shit and I don't wanna embarrass myself, Fuck that shit, trust me. Cause if you wanna just depend on your game, you just another, you just another, you just another kid that play basketball. Without your personality, without you speaking, without you selling yourself, you are just another kid that plays basketball, man. You are. So you can't afford to just be another kid that play basketball because you won't stand out that way. You won't. The same in business. You gonna be another dude with another business or you gonna be, you gotta sell your personality, your character. That's what you sell. You sell that. You gotta put yourself out there because because a lot of these, these guys who are in the basketball world, these grown men, they appreciate that, man. They respect a, a young dude, 25 years old, that's like, hey coach, let's connect. Hey, can we follow up? Yeah, I'd love to stay in contact with you. What's your information? What's your number? You got social media. So please guys, uh, take my advice on that, man. Try to focus on those things, not only on the invite workout, but any type of workout you are able to receive. And you know, and it help you not only in the basketball world, but in the world of business. But I'm out guys. Appreciate you guys tuning in. Like I said, man, I'm gonna try to be more consistent with these videos. I know I was absent for a little while, but I'm gonna keep them coming, man. You guys just continue to show your love, continue to show your support, man. Like, subscribe to the channel, man. I got a lot more content coming for you guys to kind of help you through your basketball journey, man. So I'm out. Peace out. Underdogs.